Well, hi guys, my name is Claire. For today's video, let's look at our math problem through the eye of the way to apply a problem solving approach, which is invented by Ms. Pratt. So, our problem basically is a problem related to math. It is not a really complex one, but still it takes a lot of time so that we could actually proper it out, come up with plans, strategies, and make sure that we check all the question, all the information before we actually got to the solution. So now through the uh, problem solving approach by Ms. Pratt, let's look deeper into this problem. So we have five steps, which is collect facts, data handling, planning, strategy, and lastly, come up with a solution and check. All right, so let's go through the five phrases. First, we have is collect facts. So what is our problem here? Our problem here is a tool bought a total amount of 25 pencils and ha huh, bought an amount of 20 pencils well we need to know that um our question here is how many pencils per box are there and so they're asking how many pencils are there in a box and in this case the amount of pencils is more than two which is a really really important thing that we need to remember it is more than two and so every box has the same amount of pencils so we have just one um, want amount of pencils in a box and so there wouldn't be anything changing. It would be still the same in different boxes. All right, so we already got the hang of the problem. We've already got the facts. Now let's come to our fact of data handling. So here, imagine this is a pencil box. I'm drawing it like this so it will be quicker for us to understand. All right, so our data includes that. Uh, one box has the um, has the same a uh, box of pencils. All has the same amount of number of pencils, and the number of pencil is more than two. And we must know that um the pencils the the pencils per box is different than the total amount of pencils bought by each friend or bought by both or the total amount of pens both by two friends. So that is the important thing. Also, one other important thing is that we know we know that the amount of pencils per box is able to be divided evenly by 20 and 25, which is another point that we need to make sure that we understand and we got the hang of it. Alright. So come to step three. Step three is planning. So let's come up with our plan. Our plan is to apply the rule of the greatest common division, which is related to a probability. So the great common division here we have, or I'll write it in a short way, is GCD. And we must find the greatest common division of 20 and 25. 20 and 25 here are the amount of the are the number of pencils that Ha and Dong bought in total. And we must know here that the GDC of these two numbers must be more than two. So we must make sure that we remember the problem that it is more than two. We must remember that. All right, so for step four, let's look at our strategy. Now, let's implement in our plan. So our plan here first is to find the GC of 20 and 25. So 
I use my calculations and I calculate out of the GDC, the greatest common divisor of 20 and 25 is 5. Why? Because they are the greatest common divisor. And also, they are both uh, uh, 20 and 25 are both divisible by 5. So I got the answer, it is 5. Now, if you try to calculate it, 20 is uh, able to be divided evenly by 5, and so do 25. And so now, let's look through our solution. Our solution here is 5, and we got that um, 5 here is that first, it is more than 2, and it fits perfectly with the part that we try to data data handling. We know that it fits and that it is logical to what we've already talked in our step two of data handling, which is don't bought five boxes and have bought four boxes. So now after that we come up with our solution it is five. But we shouldn't just come to the final conclusion yet. We should go through another step of checking. And now, in this phase, I use the way of graphing out the numbers of pens that both friends that both friends bought. All right. So I will find. So I will calculate here that one line like this is equal to 5 because 5 is the greatest common division that we already find here so one of this is equal to 5 all right so i grab it out let's grab it out here we have the graph of dong and han all right so look this line here which has five lines root that is similar to five boxes that dong bought is equal to 25 pens and for 20 is equivalent to four boxes that have bought and it is 20. all right and so now if we look clear into it we could say that here is our answer here it is five well what do i mean here well if we subtract 25 and 20 what because the amount of boxes that each friend bought. Don't bought more boxes than her. So we subtract that down. And we got the answer of five. So what does five stand here? Five here in this situation, in this scenario, is equal is equivalent to the, nu the number of pencils per box of pencils that we're finding. And so that leads to our final conclusion. Our solution is five. All right, so after a whole series of problem solving that flows through the way that actual people or actual scientists use, we have already understand the problem clearer, stronger, and we've made sure that we solve it by an actuary mindset, not just any mathematical mindsets. And so here, we both know that the answer is valid, it is logical, and that it won't stand a chance of getting anything wrong, because we already do another check. All right, so because of that, we already understand that problem solving this way that includes these five steps will be really valuable for us and that it will help us in every every single aspect of problem solving in life. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.